here this evening at the English Blue Preserve. I'm hoping to catch the Alpenglow on Mount Baker. I'll turn you around in a second and show you um, what I'm talking about. I got uh, here a little later than I had wanted, so I've already got my camera uh, set up and ready to go. And actually, I'm trying to do a time lapse as well. I've taken pictures here at the English Bloom Preserve before at sunrise, but I've never really been all that excited by the results. So I thought I'd give this a try. Tonight is a beautiful night. We've got um, a sunny day, or we had a sunny day. It's evening now. Um, this today between two rainstorms. Tomorrow we'll be back to uh, rainy weather here in Washington State, USA. So I thought I'd take advantage and come out and try this, uh, see if I could get a little bit of um, Belt of Venus or that pink glow or Alpen glow on Mount Baker this evening. So I'm not sure how exactly that's going to turn out, but while I'm waiting, I brought my new toy. It's a Stanley lunchbox. Uh, I call it a coffee chuck box. And I thought I'd make myself some coffee tonight. I actually put this together for my e-bike adventures this um, summer. It's a little bit heavy, but it is an electric bike, so I don't have to worry too much about the weight. So it should be kind of fun. So um, without further ado, let's open this up and see what I've got inside and make a cup of coffee while we're waiting for the sunset. So this is my Stanley Lunchbox coffee kit. I've got, uh, I've taken off the uh, piece that goes here and I might use that for a stand of some kind in the future. So I have this bamboo tray that I bought on Amazon that fits in here. Just, oops, there we go. I got my coffee. I got a coffee cup. I've got some butane. I probably am going to get a smaller one to fit in better. And I've got a um, kit. This is a uh, mess kit, and it's got this really cute little, uh, oh, I got my knife. It's got this really nice little coffee pot in it, or pea kettle. And it's made of aluminum, it's fairly lightweight. And if I'm out, I can actually use this to cook with. So I can make a soup or, you know, fry something up. But I, I to be honest with you, I bought it on uh, Alibaba, AliExpress. And it's made of tin, and I've heard so much lately about tin being um, made with lead when it comes from China. So this is on, not regulated, so I'm not sure I'm going to keep it in the kit. I might go with something that's stainless steel, like one of the Stanley uh, mess kits. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now, I also have my uh, little stove. And I'm going to uh, cut it there because it looks like it's time to take some pictures of the uh, Mount Baker. So I'll be back with you. Well, back onto the tour. I've got a uh, coffee filter here I've never used before, so that ought to be interesting. I have to untangle it. Well, it's a filter holder, excuse me. And then I've got my filters in here. 
And I actually have a couple of different types of filters. I think this is the kind you're supposed to use. Um, but I'm not actually sure. How that, yeah, that, that works well enough. As they say, you're supposed to get these filters a little bit wet before you put the coffee in. So let's get it, let's get it a little bit wet. Let it drain out. Throw that out. Yep, I got some matches in here. I don't want to, like, just in case, and I'm getting them all wet, so I'll put them in the little case here. I've also got a table down here below, which is kind of bad planning because uh, the table being on the bottom if I need it. So I'm going to have to refigure that out. And I've got a, a microfiber cloth to wipe things off. And then I've got my coffee. And so let's pour some... Let's get some coffee in there. Oh, I'm going to be so precise. Uh, that's probably enough for a good cup. Put the lid back on. And set it up here. Let's wait for the coffee, the water to boil. Okay, it sounds like it's starting to boil, so I'm going to start uh, the process. This handle's a little bit hot. Okay, because I'm an American savage. Uh, I'm going to add Coffee Mate to this. I actually chose Coffee Mate um, to put in because they last forever. Um, you don't have to worry about spoiling. And um, they don't taste half bad. So here's the taste test. Give it a try on my new... Uh, chuck box, coffee chuck box kit. Nice and warm on a cool evening. A little bit weak, probably could have put a little bit more coffee in, but I'll take it. It's really refreshing to get out on a sunny day after all our long, winter, dark, rainy days here in Washington State. So even if I don't get the picture of my dreams tonight, it's nice to have a cup of coffee and just watch the uh, setting sun on a nice sunny day. Nice break. But I'm going to leave it there, and if I got any interesting photos, they'll follow.